Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for coming to tonight's show. Uh, this is probably a weird thing if you didn't know that this was improvised. You're like, why are the actors walking out? Uh, but this uh, entire show will be improvised tonight, which means we're going to be making it up on the spot. Uh, we're very thankful that you guys are here to see it. Uh, we are doing it in the uh, style of Tennessee Williams. Uh, if you aren't familiar with this play, I still think you're going to have a great time. Uh, so in a moment, we're going to ask you guys to pick cards for us, which have characters on them. Uh, those are characters from his actual plays. And then we're going to use those to inspire the characters that we portray in the play that you see tonight that we're making up. Uh, they will not be the exact character. They will be inspired by it. Uh, there's a couple uh, important elements of that. Know that uh, if, uh, if, if, like for instance, if I pull a lady character, I will be playing a male version of that archetype, right? Uh, also, uh, hello, thanks for coming. We're happy you're here. Uh, you, you don't often get a chance to apologize. Uh, uh, so we're, we're happy that moment was able to happen. Um, uh, also, that we might be playing characters that are younger than older than our actual selves, uh, depending upon how the play unfolds. Uh, also know that this is Tennessee Williams, and while there's a lot of fun to be had in that genre, uh, know that usually it ends in a very desperate situation, so I hope you guys all have numbers of loved ones on your phone to call. Uh, it may be funny, and it may also be very sad, so be prepared for anything. Uh, I believe I've covered everything, have I? Thank you, I'm very capable. This is why I do improv, <laughs> improv because I don't remember lines. Uh, so, uh, great. So the, let's right now, let's get who our characters are, and we'll just go right down the line. Let me, let me uh, try and mess these cards up a little bit. Um, in fact, if I ask you to pull one, you can, you can definitely shuffle, if you wouldn't mind just pulling one card out of there. And this is going to be for Dennis's character, who is all the way on the end. And who did he get? Uh, Amanda Wingfield, so you can pass that down to him, right? So we already have our first cross-gender character, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Yeah. Uh, sweet. Uh, Laura Wingfield? Laura Wingfield. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to reenact yeah. Class Management tonight. That's, that, that's for Diane right there in the blue. Yeah. All right, great. If you wouldn't mind helping us out by picking one. Sweet, thank you. Uh, and we have Stella. There we go. Stella. Yeah, Stella. Uh, we remember her name being Yale. Great, if you wouldn't mind picking one for us. Sweet. Uh, Alma, who is from Summer and Smoke. Well, and by the way, we will explain these characters' points of view and how they behave in a moment. If you don't know, it's totally okay. And if you wouldn't mind pulling one for us. I purposely made this one hard, sorry. Uh, a Stanley, right there. Uh, oddly enough, I think I predicted that earlier. Uh, great, if you wouldn't mind picking one for us. And this is one is for me, so you got a lot riding on this. Uh, Harold Mitch Mitchell. Okay, great. Uh, so we're going to go down the line and read the information about our characters on the card, so you will kind of know how their, this character sees the world and how they behave. I will be playing Amanda Wingfield, or a version of her. Uh, she's from the Glass Menagerie. She's concerned about the future and appearances, and she talks a lot about the past. I'm Laura Winfield, and we live together. Uh, <laughs> in that play. In that, in that play. play. We're on um, the Glass Menagerie, and I'm fragile, meek, and in a dream world. Uh, I'm Stella Kowalski from A Streetcar Named Desire, and I'm passionate and selfish, and I live for the now. <laughs> I'm Alma Weinmiller from Summer and Smoke. Uh, she is very spiritual, self-sacrificing, and devoted. I am uh, Stanley Kowalski from A Streetcar Named Desire. I am a brute, passionate, and defensive. Great. Uh, and I am Harold Mitch Mitchell from A Streetcar Named Desire. I am longing, pathetic, and cowardly. <laughs> uh, great. So now, uh, earlier, uh, you guys, uh, some of you in here, wrote down names of plays that sounded like Tennessee Williams plays. And we're going to choose one of them now to actually be our title. I am the only one aware they are going to be learning this at the same time most of you will. Uh, the one that I have chosen from this list is the tattoo that bloomed. Do we know who wrote that? Awesome. Thank you so much. Yay, Yay awesome. You are the, you're the playwright tonight, at least of the title. Uh, so we were, uh, that's who you blame. No, uh, <laughs> no, thank you so much for that. Uh, so we're going to exit the stage now. A little start's going to go, and then we're going to start a play as if it's a real legitimate play. And it's up to you guys to believe that. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Uh, we can't wait. All right. Awesome. Yay. Uh, Hello, and 
welcome to Stage and Theater's production of For Tennessee Williams, an improvised play in the style of Tennessee Williams. The actors have just gotten their characters and the title of tonight's play. Tonight's performance is completely improvised. The performers have no script, no plot details, and not so much as a single word of dialogue has been planned. We would love to prove it to you by asking you to attend one of our future performances. Please take a moment to look at your fellow theater goer, for you are all in for a rare treat. You are seeing a play on both its opening and closing. <laughs> it is being written and performed in front of you in real time and will never be performed again. Please take this moment to silence anything that might make noise or risk your faux pas being turned into a plot point for tonight's production. Thank you so much for coming, and please enjoy for Tennessee Williams.